So here's a little update on a project that uh, is about a year old. This is a nice little rack with some of our networking equipment, a video matrix, uh, Control 4 EA5, um, Control 4 Leaf, 6x6 video matrix, an audio matrix is going to go in here, uh, and a couple of amplifiers. And we're standing on one of the rooms. This is a this is a pool house. It's kind of massive. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, obviously, the pool isn't done yet, but the pool is going to be in there. The pool is going to be enormous. Um, they're going to start tearing this open probably within the next week, so we need to finish up pretty soon so that they can uh, start tearing open the, the floor. But as you can see, I've got a TV up there, a pair of uh, speakers in the ceiling. This is a kitchen area. area. We got Alex, my techs, uh, installing a TV in the kitchen. Kitchen area. A pair of speakers in the ceiling. We've got a, another bedroom over here. We're going to do a pair of speakers up, up in the ceiling. Right there. And TV up on the wall. And if we. Uh, Look over here to where the large pool area is going to be. You can see I have a projector mount. My HDMI is up there. Got two subwoofers in the corners. And then I got a couple of, or two pairs of AW650s. Right there. Right there. And then over there on that side, um, that's going to be a gym. Also got a TV and then a pair of AW650s in the ceiling. Um, this area down here, like I said, is going to be a pool. That's just the entrance down there. Let me go downstairs so I can show you what the downstairs looks like. You want to say anything to YouTube, Alex? Alright. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's go downstairs. The only exit of that, that loft area, the huge kitchen, second living area. Down here there's a sauna, which is kind of rare for South Texas. We usually don't see any saunas down here, but this guy is pretty um, well-traveled, so he's gonna have a nice uh, sauna there. There's gonna be a giant bar basically from corner to corner. Um, uh, behind the bar is gonna be, I think, windows and cabinetry and uh, just, you know, serving drinks and stuff for family members. And like I said, this is the entrance to his pool uh, area, pool hall, it's a pool room, whatever you wanna call it. This is just insane. This really has some weird, uh, design ideas. This guy just went all out. Spent some buku bucks on this project for his family. He's a 60 something year old man. It's, uh, he's got kids and grandkids. This is the gym area. He's got uh, TV up in the corner. A pair of AW650s by Klipsch. Yeah, so this place is enormous. Like I said, massive. Giant window sliding door thing here looking out to the pool just like the other side so now you're probably wondering where I'm gonna put my screen well the screen's gonna be right there at a 45 and my projector's gonna be up there I'm using the L1405 or yeah L1405 the black laser projector it's a uh, 8000 lumens um and then i'm going to use a series 5 slate screen by screen innovations motorized so it's going to come out of that corner like i said at a 45 it's going to be uh retractable so it'll only get used whenever it's on uh when it's off well obviously it won't get used and over in the video matrix i'm going to have a couple of cable boxes i'm going to have uh, an Apple TV, uh, his surveillance system, plus um, the house, 
which is right here. This is a house, his house. Um, I'm gonna connect uh, the master bedroom into the video matrix. Plus, I think he has a theater in here. I'm gonna connect the, the theater into the video matrix also. So he already has control four. He's used to the control four system. He's a previous customer of mine that we did this project. Um, we did this project about a year and a half ago, his house. And we started this project, you know, a few months after we, fin we finished this one. Everything was pre-wired. Um, it was pre-wired, like I said, for video matrix, a six by six video matrix and um, two 12 channel amps. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna use all 24 channels of audio, um, but we have room for expansion and we pre-wired the area for plenty more uh, options if he needs it. I figured if uh, I need the, the extra power or the extra decibels uh, and these AW650s aren't enough, um, I, I ran 16.4 uh, to each corner so I can put two AW650s on each corner and make an, a total of eight just for the pool area. And then those two giant 12 inch S, uh, SW112s, I think, uh, should be more than enough to power up this entire area uh, for base. Um, other than that, this has a Luxol network switch with a Luxol network controller. Uh, I didn't set up a network controller for this house for some reason. I, I don't remember why I didn't, but I, I didn't put a network controller, so I'm adding a network controller and then an all weather access point for this area so you can have Wi Fi for the entire uh, gym slash living area and then pool and sauna and all that stuff. Um, yeah, what else? Um, other than that, I think we are also controlling lights. Um, I've got, uh, oh, something I didn't, don't commonly do. I left a, uh, uh, I left a HDMI, uh, input downstairs, uh, near the bar area, kind of, uh, somewhere around that spot, somewhere there. And, um, so in case someone wants to bring in um, a laptop or something and they want to project it onto the screen, that's going to be another input for the video matrix. Um, so you can project anything that you need to. Um, you know, kids' video games, if they have them, a console. Um, I think this is just going to be like a guest area for him. It's not like a permanent, you know, spot for anybody at this house, at least. I know he's got kids that travel uh, all across the country and then come back. Um, you know, so that's probably for them so they can come and chill and, you know, uh, have a spot to relax in. So, uh, so yeah, that's an update in this project. Uh, we're pretty much complete the screen. It's, I think a couple of weeks off. Um, I think maybe, uh, mid January, I should get my screen in. Um, I think it ships out on the 2nd of December or, or January, uh, 2018. And, um, once I get the screen in the, uh, the installers will come and mount it. We'll rent some scaffolding tool, uh, uh, equipment. We'll mount it up in the ceiling and, uh, and we're good to go. Um, right now, the tech that I have running on that side is just tidying up some small stuff, mounting TVs. Um, we're gonna get the, the video matrix and the EA5 uh, uh, up and running so that we can calibrate a program and do whatever we need to do, calibrate the audio and program the you know control for stuff. Um, but even even still, like I said, we're, we're not going to have a projector. We're not going to have um, we're not going to have a screen until mid January. But uh, I'm not really, you know, I'm not really worried about that. He's he's okay with waiting a couple of more weeks to to complete this part of the project. Uh, that that pool area is probably going to take a few more months. Um, he's got plumbing and stuff that it has to go in. He's got uh, for the pool. He's got obviously excavators to you know come in and, and tear open the the ground. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a cool area, man. Y'all have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm, uh, you know, I'm pretty quick to respond on the comments. Have a good one. Now, before I forget, let me add this to the back of the video. I know I already said the outro, but, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the, the rack. So, I know I'm, I talked a little bit about it. I said that. We have an EA5 uh, controller, um, audio matrix, and a video matrix by Control 4, um, plus 
some Luxel equipment. But what we need to, or what I, I'd like to talk about here, is the fact that we're, we are, uh, obviously, we don't have any cable boxes in here yet. We don't have any amps in here yet. Pretty soon we will. Um, one little issue when you run into these kinds of projects is, so some cable boxes uh, or some products don't have analog audio outs. So we need to convert that audio uh, from a digital source, for either from the HDMI uh, into an analog output and uh, connect that into the audio matrix so you can distribute that around the, uh, around the areas wherever you need them. So that way you can hear whatever you're listening to on the TV. So whatever you're watching on the TV, you can listen to it on the speakers in that one room. So this, this setup here, this uh, Leaf video matrix that I've got does not have a audio de embedder. Uh, the audio de embedder that I'm going to use is um, an HDMI extractor and from the cable boxes I'm not too worried because the cable boxes have their own analog out um, or I can use a DAC if it doesn't uh, which which is a, a digital to analog audio converter um, it, it extracts the, the, the optical output and converts it into an analog output um, it's a small little device connects in the back of the cable box just hangs off of it uh, you run power to it from your your little 12 volt, or I'm sorry, your your 120, um, you know, watt box that you have, or power surge, or whatever. Um, what, uh, like I said, what what I know I I will need an audio de embedder f uh, for will be for sure an uh, for the Apple TV. Apple TV, the first generation had an optical output. Uh, second or the newest, latest one that's recent doesn't have uh, optical output, which makes a little thing a couple things harder for us it's it, it doesn't make things impossible it's just you know we have to add some extra products to the system to, to make it all work right um, aside to that um, obviously the surveillance system doesn't have audio uh, unless we have a uh, camera system that has uh, microphones to listen to specific cam specific cameras um, but in this case we're, we're not using any of that stuff um, what I also want to point out in this setup is my techs here, Alex specifically, is my lead tech. This guy combed all the wires, he zip ties everything. Uh, that's going to get cleaned up at the end, obviously. But just pointing out professionalism here. The way these guys work, I, I, I can't pull this off. I, I, I'm a sales guy, I can bullshit all day. But I can't pull this kind of, you know, this kind of wiring. And I'm sure if I spent, you know, a good amount of time, then I probably can. But, but these guys, like I said, they're, they're, they're pros. They've been doing this for years. These are CDS certified techs. Um, this, is, uh, this is Alex, like I said. He's going to hang the TV in the next few minutes. So, yeah. I'm giving props to these guys because they deserve it. Um, these guys are quick, too. This, this setup, the pre-wire was done... How long did it take you to do the pre-wire, Alex? What, three days, four days? Three days. With, uh, with another guy? Yeah. The guy, <laughs> the other guy that was helping him, by the way, was probably, the guy that was helping him was probably slowing him down. Because uh, that other guy was a new guy. But uh, this setup here now is, is uh, he's on his third day uh, installing all the products and, you know, tidying up all the cables, putting wall plates up. You know, combing the wires, uh, putting tips on all the Cat6 cables, um, all this stuff. So, yeah, look at this guy. I don't even need to help him, man. Yep. You can never ask for help. So, yeah, props to these guys. Again, any questions on, on all this equipment, just ask, comment, and I'll try to help you guys out.